Thanks for coming and uh, thank all of you for participating in this. This is one of the things that makes Santa Barbara a really cool place. And uh, we have an idea that we think will make Santa Barbara a better place as well. This came about um, after last summer we did a home exchange. We traded our modest house for a beautiful apartment in uh, Montmartre in Paris, overlooking the city, the Eiffel Tower. But that's a whole other story. You know, we ended up uh, walking the streets of Paris a lot, and uh, the monuments, the bridges, the fountains, the architecture, spectacular stuff that we don't have here. But we also saw something that we don't have here that they do have and that we should have. We saw it in Paris, in Barcelona. This is going on in New York City. And we want it to happen in Santa Barbara. As we all know, Santa Barbara is a gorgeous place, natural beauty, um, the mountains, the beaches, all these other things going on, chalk painting festival, the uh, solstice parade, pianos on State Street. These are cool things that are happening here in Santa Barbara. And uh, we have this idea that we want to happen here as well. And so what am I talking about here? Talking about something that I'm pretty sure every single one of us has participated in one time or another. Maybe not for a while, maybe not since college, maybe you experimented with it. Something I still do on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're talking about ping pong. It's been a part of my family for generations. My, I play with my family. My dad, who's 86, right over there, he still beats me at this game. It's a fun game, it's democratic, it's for everyone. But more specifically, we're talking about public ping pong for Santa Barbara. We want, after coming back from Europe, I was talking with my friend Mark, and I was telling him, this is what we saw over there. We saw public ping pong tables in Paris and Barcelona, and he said, why don't we have this here? We uh, did a little bit of research and we found um, a table, a particular table. It's called the Hinge Table. It's a company in New York City. And uh, they make this gorgeous table. And we said, this is what we want. It's uh, made out of solid concrete. It's got a uh, polished uh, stainless steel net. The bounce of the ball is calculated to be just the right bounce for official ping pong tables. It's the right size. Here's what it looks like. It's, it's gorgeous. It's like, a, it's like a beautiful piece of sculpture. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want anything else. <laughs> so the next thing we say, we got the table. We need an ideal location. What makes an ideal location? It's a spot that's convenient, first of all, that shoppers, tourists, people about going about their daily business can encounter and stop and play ping pong. Another thing that makes an ideal location is a place that needs it. And that place we were just showing is the Library Plaza. And you probably all know it. It's a grassy area, and a lot of guys sleep there most of the time. <laughs> um, but so, there was a, a multi-million dollar plan to renovate the plaza, and this is some of the things they want to do. And, Develop the entry grounds as a community gathering place for the enjoyment of others and interaction between people. We feel like doing a simple thing like putting a ping pong table would accomplish many of these goals, especially since all their funds went away in December 2011. So that project is not happening. So a ping pong table does many of these same things. It inter it, all walks of life of people can play there. It's very expensive to get this table out here, but we have a benefactor who's paying for everything. The table itself, wow. transporting it, installing it, deinstalling it if it's a temporary basis, which some people suggest it should be. So it's basically a win-win situation. To, to play the game, practically nothing. Balls are cheap. This has been done in other cities. In New York City, they um, they're an experiment. They put the paddles and balls under the table in Tompkins Square Park. They lasted the entire season, pretty much. Some were stolen, some were lost, but their entire budget was $150. <laughs> so uh, I did have a bunch of other slides that were part of this picture, but uh, they're not showing up. But this is the last one. The other slides were pictures of uh, people playing ping pong in various places. 
This happens to be in uh, Beaverton, Oregon. Uh, they installed the table there, and that's the mayor of Beaverton playing on his lunch break. What we want to do is put uh, Santa Barbara on the ping pong map. We envision this being perhaps the first of many tables. East side, west side, funk zone, beaches. What's the holdup? We're not really sure. We have met with we have met with the mayor, we've met with council people, local business people, chamber of commerce, all kinds of people there. And most everyone is very enthusiastic about it. But this particular spot we're talking about is quite difficult. But we feel here it is again. It's fun. <laughs> It's good exercise, all ages, all walks of life. We want to make this happen here. And all we're really asking, um, what we're, what we're, what, the reason we're doing this presentation is because we want to just let people know about this and say, what can you do? There's two things you can do. If you think this is a good idea, and you're, you'd have to be insane if you don't, <laughs> like us on Facebook, go to our website, leave us a comment, give us your feedback, and then, um, when we actually get the table installed, I want you to tell your friends, bring your friends, bring your parents, bring your kids, bring your guests, come down and play ping pong. Thank you.